Right, ah, Jason, what have you got for us? Have you got all the van on? I've got all the van on, I could come here. If I come to here, I've got all the van on. Oh, because it's a titchy one, isn't it? It is a little titchy one, isn't it? It's under six metres and it's the... Compact. No, Vogue. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> is that your reading matter, the Vogue? No, it's Vogue <laughs> on Vogue, isn't it? It's Vogue. Vogue. <laughs> Like that, don't you? Oh, yeah, it's, a, it's a women's magazine, isn't it? How, how would I know? It's, one, it's one you read when you're in the doctor's waiting room, isn't it? Yeah? I haven't been the doctor's for a while. I don't know, that's a bloody long time ago, isn't it? Do they still have magazines in the doctor's waiting rooms? I don't think they have waiting rooms anymore, do they? No, really. It's, anyway. It's what they call an e consult now. Yeah, e consult. But if you're up north, it's an e bargum consult. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> that was good. Bye, <laughs> Cole. Aldi Folk. Um, I'm going to say this is a deal of special, isn't yeah. it? And I'll probably buy. <laughs> it's got it here, thanks. <laughs> Where? Oh, Spinny! <laughs> Look, it was stood next to that, yeah. It's actually an Aldis 135. Aldis, well, it is an Aldis 135. It's probably an Aldis Accordo 135. Um, so it's a deal of special. Probably with a deal of special, what you're getting on the 135 is the uh, alloys. Alloys? Good looking alloys they are alloys. as well. And just up there. Solar panel by the looks of it. Can you, can you get up there, Kev? Yeah. Look, I'm standing on my tippy toes. Okay. Yeah. And you're probably right. getting the awning as well. And I think it'll probably get the extractor fan. Yep. And um, bike rack. Bike rack then. Okay. Mm. Yep. Um, nice looking thing though, isn't it? Reverse camera as well. It's got a reverse camera. But we'll go around there in a minute. All right, don't jump the gun. Don't jump the gun. Nice looking thing. Yeah. Yep. Nice graphics. Yep. Nice. Like a yellowy, goldy blending into whatever it is. Nice colour. Just, yeah. Um, battery. There's a the battery. Hook up. Hook up. Typical eldest with the hook up in the uh, battery compartment. Fish for the vents, so it's a. Uh, small one. Small. Barbecue point. Yeah, that'll be the deal of special thing because it's colour coded, isn't it? Good point. Good point, Kevin. Um, gas bottle got enough two six kilograms there, yeah. you'd see. Yeah. Two six. Happy. Yeah. I forgot the statue. Um, mm. and then we've got the lines coming in. Great looking cab at the front. Jump, jump in the other side, Let's do the cab. I don't think we've told anybody what it is. It's actually a three berth with four belted seats. Um, oh, let me jump up there. Now this one's actually a 19 plate. So uh, this is gonna be anywhere 48 to what? 50, 51, yeah. something along that lines. So we'll get our pricing out because we always forget to do the pricing, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have to do it at the start now so we don't forget. Because I have to keep reminding you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. It's um, 2019, this is done under 3,000 miles. It's a two litre diesel, one owner um, on the Peugeot Boxer. So steering wheel, we've got, um, what are them? Electric windows, yeah. electric mirrors, probably, we're getting the, oh look at that, look at that, look at that much. Mm. Yeah, it's a good round that bit there, isn't it? That I lumpy that. bit, that lumpy bit. So we have the blinds, also blinds, passenger side and driver. Reversing camera. Yeah, which again, dealer special. Um, media pack, we've got no sat nav on that, we've got air conditioning. We have cruise control, it's six speed, USB point, blown air, hot and cold. Air con. I've just said air con there. I never heard you say air con. You weren't listening, that's why. Well, I, I heard you say cruise control. No, I said air con, then cruise right. control. Okay, okay. All right. I might be wrong. Can I carry on? Yeah, go on. Okay, what's the tip? Do you know what? Feel that, Kev. Nice, eh? Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, little. Uh, you could snuggle to that, couldn't you? Yeah, a little suede oh. bit there. That's, that's nice. That's two nice. armrests as well instead of... Well, it's got yeah. four armrests. I know. Two on each seat. Some only have one on, don't they? Um, while we're at it, while we're at it, um, fresh water capacity. 
90. Ooh, have you cheated? No. Wastewater? 80. 70. Yeah. Nearly I was going to say 70, I don't know. Oh, go on, I'll give you a little guess on the weight. Weight, uh, it'd be under three and a half ton. Uh, three, four hundred? No, Kev. Okay. Three thousand three hundred. Oh, and like I say, 5.99 metres, so it's decent, six metres. Decent suit. payload then, yeah. Yeah, good compact van. Um, let's crack on with the outside of it, and then yep. shall we go and have a nose inside? Yep. It is a nice looking van, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and we've got the light little fancy yeah, type, so, of, yeah. Shape. type of window, so mm. it's going to be expensive if you have to replace it. Full of coded door handles as well, look right. Okay. Um, fresh water. Because that toilet this is going to be, isn't it? Yep. So we're guessing the toilet area is going to be here. Do you think it's going to be a combined shower or do you think it's going to be a separate shower? It's got to be combined on there. It's got to be, isn't yeah. it? What about down there, Jess? One minute. Right, we've got the flues for the whale system, I assume. That's going to be fresh water drain off, wastewater drain off. It's got alloys this side as well. Oh, yeah. Nice, aren't they? Yeah, just a match. <laughs> 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 and then all oh, the what we've got here. Reverse camera, yep. um, bike rack, and then we've got a boot. We've got a boot. We've got a boot. boot. Shall we open or it? The Americans call it a trunk. Trunk, yeah. Nelly the elephant's with. Um, that gives you access to the lounge. And that's for you! <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what that's for? That's Kevin's access! No, you take Granny out for the day. Yeah. What, you put her in that way? We put the mobility scooter in there. Yeah. Just think, taking Granny out for the day because you've got a belly seat at the front. Yeah. Yeah. Fold the scooter up, plunk it in the back. Where you go, when you're out for the day. That's well, your access because this is. I'll nip to BQ and get some planks of wood. <laughs> um. Well, well, so you have got your tie downs here, actually. In fairness. Yeah. I, well. Haven't you? Put them seats fold up inside. I don't know, we're going to have a look inside, oh, eh? Look. So I reckon you could fold them seats up. I think the front of the seats fold, so it gives you a big area. You're doing this on purpose, so there's more work to do, isn't there? But yeah, because I like seeing you struggle there. Cool. Um, we've done all this, haven't we? Yeah. Right, so we go inside? Yep. Now, don't wipe, keep. wipe your feet. I'm going to wipe. Can I put some lights on for us? Go on, then. Come on, you wear the carpet out. Feet. What's your thoughts? Yeah, nice light wood. It's a nice compact van, isn't it? Got them skylights. <laughs> One, two, two three, three, four. There's a lot of skylights there, isn't there? Yeah. There is, isn't there? There is. It's sending a lot of light in, though, isn't it, in fairness? <laughs> Should have just put a glass roof on it in there, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I just a convertible. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, lockers all around. Um, we've got this. Um, obviously, this is going to let's have a look. This is going to make up into a double bed. Ah, now, like I said, yes. Yep. See them things there? What's a thing, Kevin? This front part here, this flap. Oh, no. Come, um, come this side. Just wait. It's continuing from the uh, driver and passenger seat, if you notice. I feel like I've I feel like I'm done. Right. right. What do you want me to do now? Right. Pull it out. Right. Uh, yeah. Now you see this bit here. Doesn't that fold under? I think it does, you know. I think it's like uh, like the ones when they have the, uh, the fold up travel seats in them. There you go. Ah. Yeah. Just a cup. Oh. Well, promise me you'll book up. Eh? Uh, we'll just go for a short ad break. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Right, so you've. Ah, so that'll fold up. All the way up. We're here to give customers the best representation as we can. Yeah. Yeah, so that'll fold up. Other side's going to do the same, isn't it? Yeah. So that'll give you uh, an area where if you. You know, you could, you could use it to. Nip like I say. Like I say what? Nips at B&Q, nips at Garden Centre. 
Get all your plants in there. Kev, it's not a truck. It's a recreation vehicle. Yeah, but it's multi 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 task. Okay, so um, not an awful lot to show you underneath there. Yeah. No. Right. But look what we've got. What's that for? Throw for the boot. Oh. See that? Oh. Just prop the boot open. So if we don't just that side, so yeah, what we're doing, you, you're right there actually. Yeah. These can go up. Um, and do you know what? That's giving a bit more storage, isn't it? Yeah. For on the move. Yeah. And then. Um, Especially if you've got an awning, if you, or you, you've got a privacy room, something like that, you can carry all your stuff in there. Once you get on site, everything can go out into the awning. Yeah. Good thinking, Kevin. And then this is going to do exactly the same, isn't it? Yes. I'll just demonstrate how these work. How they work, Kev. You press them in like that. See how easy that is? See how easy? You didn't know it at first, though, did you? Um, again, storage. So what we've got here, we've got the water system. I like neatly done, neatly done. Yeah, please do that. They've done that on purposely to, uh, so you've got a load area, haven't they? Well, whether they've got a load area or not, you've got it's your load shackle, done nicely you've got your there. Shackles there. Yeah, what's that there? That's your hot water drain. Yep, so there's your drain off of your hot water. It's um, empty, isn't it? Yeah, it's all empty. There's your valve cut off for your hot water gas. And then, yeah. This has got a bit, but this is giving a bit of options, isn't it? Yeah. Especially, I like the idea, it's very good for wheelchair. It's mm. very wheelchair friendly. Yeah. To be honest. And I do like the idea for storage for when you get there for putting everything then yeah. in your awning. Um, yeah, I like it, that Kev. So we'll look at the back, what have we got? Fly screen, yep. blinds, yep. and then standard yeah. um, openers. So uh, you've got a uh, rail air for the table. Yeah, table, which we'll show you in a minute. Just over there, we've got a couple of points. Yep. And then we also have the TV aerial. TV bracket. Um, TV bracket and TV aerial. Um, you said it was going to be a combined shower. I did. Well, let's have a look at it. Go on then, I'll let you take over. Ooh, a nice, nice little wash basin, Jase. Let's have a look. It's a dinky little thing, isn't it? I couldn't fit in that one. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a halo yeah. shower as well, look at that shower head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's ample size. For such a compact van, and you've got storage in here as well. Kev, somebody said I didn't do the paper test on one of the vans we did. Oh, all right. Yeah, but they're nearly all tabloids now, though, Jase. Even the Times yeah. is a little one. They're saying, no, not on a Sunday, the time yeah. on a Sunday. This is more of a... We talked about Beano last time, didn't we? Yeah, I've got lots of comments on that. <laughs> I've got another comment we <laughs> can do. We're the ones that like corking a cat and Desperate Dan. And <laughs> Desperate Dan. <laughs> that one. was Dandy, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Dandy. Yeah. So, we've done Beano, folks. Let's get some from Dandy. I was never a Dandy man. There was Topper and Beezer as well. Do you remember them? No. They were big, big... big. They were bigger comics, Topper and Beezer. Well, like a big yeah. times. Yeah. That was a long time ago, because you've got to remember I'm old. <sighs> Ample. Put in the comments if you remember the Topper and the Beezer. <laughs> I don't. I don't um, know, though we've got some old... Uh, I am liking the tap. Followers. I do like the tap. Yeah. Um, for a my, compact van, this is plenty. I think by having that small wash basin like that, makes the most of the space you've got. Yeah, well, it's dual purposes, it's because I can dingy and I can dingy. <laughs> See what I mean? Um, did you notice the cupboards behind? Yeah. A couple of cupboards, uh, one cupboard, sorry. And guess what? We've got another skylight. <laughs> Five. <laughs> All right, let's have a nosy woosy what we've got here. We've got, um, oh, solar panel controller. Yep. We've got, why do we have a solar, why do we have a solar controller? A solar controller, because the, pe the power coming in is far too great. To, for your batteries because your battery is a 12 volt battery you can get as much as 23 volts or possibly even more coming off your panel so your controller reduces it down and sends the correct amount of voltage into your batteries why does it reduce it down because you don't want to blow your battery up why why what, what's the battery capacity 12 volt so there you go I said that at the beginning oh did you say yeah, you weren't listening see you say, you say i don't listen you weren't listening oh you yeah, invite tv aerial um and we go that controller, let's just have a look at this. Go on, then, come on, off your trot. It's a dual controller, yeah. Uh, if you notice there, there is facility 
that you could actually wire into your vehicle battery as well. It's only got the leisure battery wired into it. The cheap skates. Yeah. Dealers, cheap eh? Dealers special. Eh? God. <laughs> yeah, because the battery's only there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But it's easy enough to run a cable from there to your vehicle battery. What do we do? Do we do just a leisure battery or do it for vehicle? No, we do both. Oh, we do both, do we, Kev? Yeah, we do. It is hard work though, isn't it? <laughs> okay, yeah. Um... Well, you know. <laughs> Paul fits them. Yeah, yeah, I have to help. Anyway, so we've got a little Dometic fridge three way. Three way is what we mean by three way. It works off the electric, it works off the gas, and then when we're driving along, it works off the leisure battery. Why can't we use it on the leisure battery um, when we on a campsite? Because we'd flatten the battery. Why would we flatten the battery? Because the fridge would use too much power. Yeah, and then on the unless, older fans... Unless it was a compressor fridge. The modern compressor fridge doesn't. The modern compressor fridge is brilliant. The reason why a compressor fridge works, once it hits temperature, it switches off. Yeah. And then obviously when you open, it's going to drop down. No, it's going to go higher in temperature, yeah. isn't it? And then it'll work back again. Yeah, this will only work on 12 volt when the engine's running because it, it relies on the uh, alternator and it gets its power through a... And the problem with some of the older bands was they didn't have the cut off and no. um, the trip for when you weren't uh, the van wasn't working uh, driving along and what it happened was if you left it on there then it would flatten the battery cab wouldn't it, it would. and then also it would go onto your vehicle battery yeah so there we go a little scenes we're on about dandies and everything a little bit of history yeah. there um russell's got a uh, microwave in this one kev yeah nice little compact microwave yeah. Um, a bit of condensation, that's because it's cold outside and we've got, obviously we've come in, a bit of heat in there, so hot air and cold air when they mix together creates condensation just like your clouds, just like your rain. See, look at this, hey, look at this, you're getting so much in this little van. The yeah. knowledge, the no I'm going to have to open a window because we're bursting with knowledge, <laughs> Kev. Um, three being a hot, hot plate, plenty. Yeah, it's quite good actually having a hot plate. You just expect a three burner in this, really. It's a big hob for the van. Yeah. But hey ho, good size. Good size, thing. Again, um, we're getting the tap and then um, we're getting a grill and an oven there, Kevin. Combined oven grill, yeah. Yeah. Um, Again, lots of storage. Let's show everybody the storage. There we go. Put your tins and things in. And then we've got below that, we have. Another drawer, and then below that we have. Oh, what have we got down here? Yeah. Let's have a look. Gas isolation valves. So we've got the isolation valves. We've also got the pump for the water system, a dampener on that, and there's a filter. That's good access to get at. Happy yeah, with that? Quite nice. That makes a change. Doesn't it? Yeah. And another plug down there, Kevin. Yep. I've got USBs here. And then, oh yeah, USBs, a couple more plugs. So we've got two, three, we've got about four of plugs I've seen so far. Two, four, five plugs down here. And down there, Kev. Yep. Right, so that's five plugs. So, yeah, um, swap around. Let's just have a look what we've got down here. So, obviously we're going to get the... Well, the, the table we were talking about before, Jace, is there uh, for, uh, for the rear lounge. Yeah, table for the rear lounge. And then, let's have a nose what we've got underneath before we crack on. Now, to make the bed up, this is a single bed, isn't it? Yeah. This will pull out, and that makes your bed up. And then what we've got there, Kev, there's a fresh water tank. Yeah. Quite handy having a water tank in wood rather than under sling. Yeah. Why is that, Kev? Stops him freezing up. Ooh. Yeah, shake yourself. Eh? You're looking at me like this, aren't you? Yeah. It's alright for you, you just stand there with the camera and criticising yeah, and me out, and doing everything. Let the me... one time you had to do something with the camera, when I held the camera, it turned into a disaster. Little boom arm table, eh? That's what they boom call it. Boom arm, eh? Boom arm. Boom. Boom. boom arm. Boom arm. Boom arm. Yeah. Boom arm. Even shape so it swings on that bit, doesn't it? Okay, I think we've pretty much done everything on here, haven't we? Yeah. Central locking, CD radio, table, roof lights, more roof lights than... The other seat swivels as well, I take it, yeah. Well, sure happy, happy. Yeah. Happy. Yeah. Yeah. happy. So it gives you a decent sized lounge area at the front as well. You could leave your bed made up at the back, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. Yeah, who's this going to suit, Kev? 
I think just a couple really. You can just a couple taking grand, grand kid away? Yeah. We'll take Granny out for the day with a scooter in the back. Um, well, even if one of you has got a mobility issue. mobility issues of one, yeah. this is a great van for it yeah. as well. It's uh, You can do a lot with that back. And mm. um, like I say, once we put them seats up, yeah. again, you've got the storage there, Flyq you said for the mobility scooter. Um, again, storage for them yeah. to put into your awning. So uh, for what it doesn't have in lockers, it makes up for it at the yeah, back, yeah. to be honest. Which is quite good for a rear lounge because you, you lose a lot of that sometimes in the rear lounge, the storage. Which... Yeah, yeah. And there's not really, just pop it around there, there's not really an awful lot of storage there, Kev, is no, there? No, no, it's, uh, I mean, it's two, two double seats really, yeah. So you can sit four quite comfortably in it, well, a bit crowded, but no, it's, uh, it's not, you know, you can't use them as single beds, can you? It's got to be. Yeah. Transverse double. Yeah, but again, like you rightly said, you can make that up as a double. Yeah. Um, leave, leave, it there. leave it made up, yeah. You could even put a curtain across there if you so wanted to, you know. Yeah. Bit of separation. So there we go, the Aldis. With more skylights than I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, nice lighting as well. I mean, you got your over. Your over cam. That's your kitchen one there. Okay, let's wrap it up then, eh? Yeah. So there we go, the Aldix Vogue 135. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to us, like us, uh, whatever you want to do, really, to be honest. Yeah, um, just come in this one, won't Yeah. Nice fan, nice fan. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's go find another one.